Now, when I double click on my administration client, this is the view that I will get. Okay, currently I'm running the Digiford version 6501 and you can actually determine that by clicking on here and it'll show you all the information about Digiford. After installing my service, okay, we need to allocate a Digiford server within our administration client so that our client can determine which server to manage. So here, I will add my server and I will type in a name. So for the purpose of the exercise, I'm going to put in a local host. Local host being the server or the computer that I'm working on right now. If I have a look at my server IP address, I have the flexibility to choose some of the servers that have been, la uh, that have been detected or identified on my network, or I can put in my own address. Okay, so I'm going to use my loopback. Okay, so now I have administration rights to my local server. With Digifort, the default username is admin and the password leave blank. So let's log on here. We get an error message that comes up. This server has no installed licenses. The reason for this is because the way Digifort works is it runs on a license. So we need to install a license with Digifort. There are two types of licenses that we can uh, have for a demo license. Okay, so let's go through it. Licenses, demo licenses. The first demo license is 30 day demo license. The 30 day demo license we have to request through the internet. And the license is populated from the what we call the machine key. Okay? But Digifor doesn't provide official licenses on machine keys. It's via a HLock key, which is from a USB dongle. Okay, so there are two types of licenses. Please remember that. So here we fill out all the information. Okay, this actually authenticates with the uh, Digifort server in Brazil. So it's just loading. It does take a little bit of time because my antenna is running a little bit slow here today. So, Digifort contact is George. Email address is george at digifort.com. My phone number plus 61. And then the country is Australia. Test. It's a demo license, and we send that. Once we send that, this information, the machine code, and the software that we have used, which is the enterprise enterprise version, which we we have installed, is now sent to the Digifort license server in Brazil. And as you can see, it has been successful, and your license will be available within two days. In actual fact it's available straight away for you when you click on online licenses. So when we click on online licenses, that the Digifort server will have automatically authenticated and provided us with a 30-day license. So now, we can go back here and we can click the install button. Once we click the install button, it will then generate a license for us. Alternatively, uh, we can insert a license file here if Digifort have provided us, provided us with one. So if you have any problems, you can just email support at digifort.com with the machine ID or the HLock ID. So the only thing that changes here is this number. It becomes HLCK, which stands for hard lock. Okay? Then we can issue you a license based on this number here. Once that's done, you'll be able to see your information here. But for today's exercise, I'm going to request a demo license for four hours. So look here, this is our temporary license. Currently there are no licenses whatsoever. When I click the activate button, I've been given eight cameras with one alarm device for three for four hours. And the time counts down. Once this time has expired, then I must stop my Digifort service and start it again. Then I have the flexibility to be able to activate a demo license again.